If you need a last minute gift idea for your friends for Christmas, this is your sign to make thrift bundles. I have two friends who absolutely hate shopping and because I am the exact opposite of that, I had them send me their measurements and their Pinterest boards and today we're just gonna... We're just gonna buy them anything that we think that they might like. The thrift store closes in two hours, it's Christmas, so let's go shopping. So here's who we're shopping for. Hannah is a hairstylist and educator who mostly works from home these days. I would describe Hannah as if Galadriel from Lord of the Rings shopped at Free People and listened to metal music, which is another way of saying she's a Scorpio. Looking at her Pinterest board, we can see a lot of influences from the whimsy goth aesthetic, as well as some down to earth, casual 90s influence. I think Hannah's color season is true autumn and she doesn't wear a lot of bright colors. So I'm mostly gonna be looking for neutrals like brown, dark green, and navy. Jessie is a comedian by night and an operations manager at a startup by day. She likes pop music, playing guitar, and organizing her Google Calendar. She's also an Aries, so she's not afraid to be bold. On her Pinterest board, we see a lot of casual and classic elements with a bit of androgynous influence, although she does love a mini skirt moment. Jessie is a warm spring color season and looks great in bright colors, especially this color green. Shopping for other people can be tricky, so I find these little vibe checks to be helpful and also really fun. It's kind of like costume design. Yay, so now it's time to thrift. This place is so big and they have so much of everything. I didn't even bother looking at the shoes. First, also, I got distracted by a few things that I thought about getting for myself and I had to talk myself out of it. Here I am exploring a janky bag that deserved no attention whatsoever. And then I decided to kind of move on. First thing that caught my eye was this lime green jacket because I know that Jessie looks really good in green. Unfortunately, that trench style is really not her style at all. This patchwork coat was really cute. Um, I forget what these are called, but they're really trendy right now. So I put a couple of them in the cart, one for each of them. And spoiler, I actually didn't end up getting them. This is at the point where I'm realizing that filming while you thrift is extremely hard. Like what the hell? I don't know how people do it. I decided to not mess with jackets anymore because it was just too complicated and everything was too expensive. So I went towards the back. I have this problem where I always feel like I need to look at literally everything in the store. So. I started kind of cheating the system a little bit. I would just look through and not really record. And then if I saw something that I liked, I would pretend that I found it on camera. So that's what I'm doing here. This is kind of, I'm just being, I just was being random. I was in a silly, goofy mood. I had to look at everything shiny. These shoes are crazy. This top I really liked for Hannah. I know it's not really her color. And so, well, oh, there, I put it in the car anyway. Okay. This I really liked. I mean, it was an automatic yes for me, for Jesse. So resort vibes, fashion bug, iconic. Same with this. I can just see Jesse wearing this in the summer or I can see her wearing it over top of a like white button down. I love these overalls so much. I wish that they were bigger, um, but I think they were for a child, so I didn't bother getting them for Hannah. Here I am exploring the dresses where I tend to never find anything good. It's usually polyester stuff in weird styles, but I was looking for whimsy goth for Hannah, as you know, and I stumbled upon this mini dress. I wasn't sure about the ruching or the pattern, and then I realized, okay, it was actually from Target. So I don't know, it was just kind of giving me like slightly dated vibes. This I loved, I love this, still has the tags on it, very 2000s, off the shoulders, super in right now. Okay, this is totally random. This is, as it happens, is the shirt from Lost in Translation. And for some reason, like not movie merch, but just the actual shirt I guess they use. So I had to get it. Um, this shirt reminded me a lot of Hannah. It's from Charlotte Russe, very Brandy Mel Melville. I put it in the cart, but sadly I didn't end up getting it, but probably for the best. Okay, I'm starting to enjoy myself here. So, you know, they started playing house music and that was the reason for that. Okay, this I really liked. <laughs> it's, I guess, an 80s or 90s polo, like maxi dress that I was thinking maybe 
would look cool on Jesse. I know that the polo aspect for sure, but I was worried that the fact that it's sort of like shapeless would be kind of too much of a moo moo element. This Glossier jumpsuit moment was in the cart, but I didn't end up getting it. Same thing with this vintage sheer shirt. Um, oh my God, I kind of regret not getting this one for Hannah. I love this, like it's 90s does 70s, Amy Buyer. But yeah, I left that one at the thrift too. This I really liked. It was kind of a suede overshirt type of thing. Here I am pretending to discover this skirt for the first time. I really like this one. It's so summer vibes. The skirts were really fruitful. I considered this one as kind of part of the whimsy goth moment for Hannah and put that in the cart. But I ended up finding this one, which I think was clearly better. This like 90s, more like moody, kind of Mazzy Star looking vibe. This mini I got with Jesse in mind, for sure. The skirts were just amazing. And then I checked out the shorts. I considered these for a minute because Hannah had a couple of examples of like girls wearing boxer shorts on her board, but I don't know. I ended up leaving them because first of all, they were for a child. And <laughs> these plaid pants really stood out to me. I really like these. I really hope that they are Hannah size. That's the brand. Then I found this coat. It's like, I guess 2000s does 70s Penny Lane coat. I wasn't really sure. It looked a little bit crazy, but I think with some cleaning up, it will be really, really nice. And Hannah's gonna love it. She had a few Penny Lane coats on her board. Also this vest, very good. So many t-shirts, honestly. I wanted to look through all of the polos and t-shirts for Jesse, but most of them were kind of missing the mark. You know what I mean? Like I saw these and I was like, you're better than that. Same thing with most of these purses. I'm not sure what they were getting at. This frog sticker, I'm, I don't know, cowboy frog. <sighs> you always have to look, but it's hit or miss, you know? These pants, so good. Vintage Banana Republic. I loved these. They absolutely went in the cart for Jesse. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that there's a cat that lives in the surf store and he is very well fed and he is very friendly. It's easily my favorite part about going to the surf store. Okay, I should have gotten this for Jesse. I didn't, I wish I had, but it wasn't actually vintage. It was like a fake vintage Florida sweatshirt. So maybe it's good I didn't get it. This was like a very random thing that I picked up for Hannah. And I don't know, but I had a vision I'll explain later. These shoes, okay, I considered these, but I didn't, it, for Hannah, I, I don't know how I was gonna get those to North Carolina, let's be real. Looking again at this vest, going back and putting it in the cart. And this is the final cart. Usually I just put everything that I like in the cart and then I hang it all up. I organized it by Hannah's side and Jesse's side. And then I had to go through and, you know, cut the fat, trim the fat. This was a no. These coats were like $25, which made no sense to me at all. I really wanted to get the dark green one for Hannah, but I had to ditch it. And then that's it. That's the final haul. Okay, listen, we're back at my apartment. I blow dried my hair straight. It's been three or four days. It's time to do the haul. I've even got my uh, collagen matcha here, which is a new thing for me. I'm not sure if I like it, to be honest with you. But what can I say? I need a beverage. If you hear like rattling in the background, that's my cat. She's attacking something. So, like I said, Hannah's style is very much whimsy goth. It's very grunge, but like with this sort of ethereal element to it. My cat is going crazy. Kiwi. So the very first thing that I thought of was a long skirt. And she has a lot of these all over her Pinterest board. This is what I found. It's a maxi skirt. The brand is Ultra Dress New York. It is absolutely vintage, you can tell. 
it was five dollars i do think that this is polyester but it also feels like a durable construction it's not falling apart and it's kind of a little bit of a, a black and purple color as you can kind of see in the sunlight and i honestly think that it would go great with like a corset top like this and she'd be able to dress this up or down depending on the occasion i saw something a little interesting and i wanted to give it a shot hannah has a couple of examples on her pinterest board of vests that are kind of cropped at the hip they're not long vests and i thought this one was so cute it's kind of quilted paisley this is the brand yeah there we go i like the dark kind of grunge color palette that was also five dollars next picked up these tapered stretchy plaid pants i don't know if you can see the plaid very well I think these are so cute. These would look so great with like a tall pair of Doc Martens. I know people aren't really wearing like the skinny pant as much anymore, but I feel that it's coming back around, especially with the riding boots trend and the motorcycle boots trend. I mean, we need something to stuff into those. So these are perfect. They're honestly more like a legging. And while when we hear the word leggings, a lot of times we think of like the early 2010s, leggings proper is very much a 90s trend, like wearing a tight pair of pants underneath a big flannel a big sweater with a big pair of combat boots and that is so hannah it's right up her alley and i think that these will look really great on her if they fit oh the brand on these is elion rose i think it's a modern brand i don't think it's vintage but i do like the quality and the construction um and i thrift things that are not vintage all the time because secondhand a second hand a five dollar pair of pants is a five dollar pair of pants so i found this little sweater from macy's originally with the tags still on it's actually a sweater dress i mean for me it wouldn't be a dress but on hannah miss long legs short torso this would be a mini dress on her and it's off the shoulder which is very very on trend this is red which i know looks good on her even though she doesn't wear it very often glittery i'm not sure if you can tell yeah i just think that this would be such a fun holiday look so i'm really excited to give this to her a couple of days before christmas maybe even like a little valentine's day fit eee! so cute this next item is kind of a wild card a lot of times i pick up things because i have like a vision for it or there's an essence that i can feel that i'm like okay i, I recognize that this is not in style but i think that it could be soon and i think that it could be styled in a unique way and used for something if you got creative with it. That item is this 2000s jacket. It's brown. It has interesting metal studs on it. And honestly, the thing about this jacket is it looks like something that Hannah would have had in her closet. And five years ago or so, I was like, you need to throw this away. You've had it for too long. Um, and now, of course, I'm like, oh, I feel like this kind of late 2000s style is coming back and we can find a way to make it work. So this would be a mega crop on most people, but I think it would actually be a normal length jacket on her. And I feel like she could wear it with like baggy jeans and it would be so, so, so cute. And then last for Hannah, I kind of found a little bit of a holy grail item. Not that something can be a little bit of a holy grail, but if something could be, this would be it. So... I happened to find for $15, sue me, not the best deal, but it kind of is for what it is, a Penny Lane coat. And at first I was like, I don't feel like this is the best quality or I was worried that it wasn't because a lot of times you think something is suede and then it's like polyester microfiber. Um, and then I'm like, a lot of times this trim, if it's not, real fur or if it's not like vintage real fur which because i would never buy new real fur obviously then it does get matted and not seem super good quality however even though i know that the fur is synthetic i read the label and it says here on the label that the shell is genuine leather it's actually leather it's a leather coat for 15 dollars. the brand is morton and rossi and it says that the size is 2xl which I feel like it's impossible if they're talking about adult extra large. Like, I feel like maybe this is a kid's extra large. All I know is I think that this is amazing. It's going to go really far in her wardrobe, especially because she really loves that boho aesthetic and she has this like long flowing mermaid hair. So that's all for Hannah. And now we're going to go into Jessie's. I'm already tired. Okay.
So for Jessie, I mentioned that she likes bright colors a lot. And I noticed on her board that she has a lot of like oversized pieces, short sleeve collared shirts, button downs, polos, sweater vests. And so there's a little bit of like a preppy element and a colorful element that I really was looking for. I ended up finding a ton of stuff and it's all kind of in the same color palette. The first thing is this faux suede kind of, it's kind of a shacket. It's like an overshirt slash jacket in this kind of blood orange color, which I really like. Jazzy complains a lot about having nothing to wear to work because she has such cool style. I know that it would, they really need to stop before I snap. I don't even want to like encourage her to buy business casual. I think she can find things that are appropriate for work, but that are still really cool. So that's kind of what I was thinking with this. For example, if her normal outfit was a tank top and jeans, she could throw this over top. Jesse works for like a cool tech company in Manhattan. So it's a little different than if you were working in finance or in a legal office, but you still kind of can't like wear this <laughs> in that same vein and in that same color palette this is more of a summary item i found this button down short sleeve shirt in kind of a peachy and peachy pink and i just really like it i think it's beachy it's a 100 percent cotton shirt breathable this is so good with like denim shorts or baggy jeans or a mini skirt it has so much versatility i love it the thing about the warm spring color palette is they look amazing in the color green and jesse is no exception she loves green and she looks really good in my opinion in polo shirts now jesse has a big chest so i don't know if this is gonna fit her chest but i really really like it and i'm hoping that it will end up being like the perfect fit because it is the perfect color and the collar, of course, fits with a lot of her style. It's from L.L. Bean and it's 100% cotton. So there you go. It's good quality too. $5. By the way, everything that is, has been $5 so far. In the exact same color and potentially with the exact same bust issue is this so cute lime green sweater vest that I found. It is stretchy, so I'm really hoping... I'm just hoping that it comes down far enough on her chest. Like she did send me measurements, but A, I forgot my tape measure at home, genius. And B, sometimes you just never know like someone's torso length, but I hope that it works. This is such a cute sweater vest and sweater vests are very much Jessie style. Boom, look at this. Pink, red, and green are such themes, but I swear this is gonna look good on her. This is a mini skirt, obviously. It has kind of this like paisley, um, and tropical print on it, which is so pretty. I know it's gonna look so sexy on her and like fun. Um, so cute with sandals in the summertime, combat boots, stocks, that sort of thing. And also really comfy. I mean, it's, I wanna say this is cotton too. Let me look, 95% cotton, 5% lycra, but it does not have a brand tag, unfortunately. I kind of can't get over how everything that I got her is in such a theme, it's crazy. But uh, these are probably one of my favorite items. These pants from Banana Republic, they're like soft, flouncy pants. If you know what I mean by the word flouncy, oh my God, is that even the real word? Holy shit. But they have this like really cool floral print on it. It reminds me of Andy Warhol. And I also think because of the dark colors, I mean, you know how I feel about dark florals, they work for all seasons. So, Super comfortable, such a good work item. It's fun. It's day to night. We love it. Five dollars. Like I said, Banana Republic. And then um, the fabric is 100% rayon. And I just wanted to mention that because that's, I guess, what makes it this like flouncy dress pant material, which you don't see as much anymore. But it used to be really popular in the 90s and early 2000s. And I kind of miss it. And then the last thing that I got for Jesse is something that made me think of her immediately when I saw it. And I do think she has some examples of it on her board. So this mini skirt in this kind of 90s grunge faded flannel plaid print. I love the tan and cream colorway with like these subtle notes of bluish gray. It's so cute, casual, but still put together enough to wear to work, I think. It's originally from Lulu's with the tags still on, so not vintage, but it still has that vintage look. And it was 
only five dollars so that's it for my christmas gift thrift haul i hope this inspired you to potentially thrift for some of your christmas gifts there's a lot of fun stuff that you can find out there and even if you don't want to buy clothes for people think about trinkets y'all think about little dishes glassware there's so many fun things that you can find at the thrift i'm definitely going to keep making more of these videos i just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's already subscribed i had no idea that my first video would do so well and i hope that you continue to watch you definitely encourage me to keep posting more videos so make sure you subscribe because there's going to be more coming so until next time you're beautiful you're perfect and i will see you soon bye